So that's an example of, of, uh, of one class. And the idea is that once you've negotiated it, you might give the kids a copy of that. And, uh, and in your classroom management process, you're often referring back to it. You're saying, well, look, guys, this is what we agree. This is what you said you wanted, that you said that you would do. And I'm just following what you said you want. So it, uh, it brings it back to the students. It's, it's one way of, uh, of emphasising student responsibility. I'm not saying that it's a, it's a perfect tool, but it's, it's, it's one way of getting the kids a little bit more involved. So um, I'll leave you with that, and we're going to ask Nick to just talk a little bit about the process we've followed over the, over the last two years. OK, thanks, though. Um, starting with 2008, uh, all our learning leaders last year, lovely photo of Veronica there, very nice Veronica. Um, we're obviously exposed to um, Professor Raymond Lewis's ideas and strategies. Uh, a few days was obviously spent there. Uh, what we decided, what uh, we did was we brought that back to all our um, uh, all staff met within our units, like John explained, our unit system. Uh, we identified ten of the most challenging students within the unit, and um, I think it's a good idea uh, to have the unit in that um, you can express your ideas in a smaller group. Everyone has a say rather than a big group. So I think a lot more ideas with. Um, uh, elaborated on within our units. Uh, we also looked at strategies that worked well to manage the behaviour of these students. For example, uh, people expressing, OK, this is what works well in my class and picking up other things from um, other subjects. OK, I may use that. That sounds good. Uh, staff were then asked to identify the top five strategies from their list. So that is obviously all of our units. We come up with the top five. Um, we looked at the, the, obviously the responses were collated and compared across the school. We came to a, an agreement uh, and a consistent approach to classroom management was produced and obviously documented. Okay, uh, that was 2008. Again, uh, we got the, um, the expert, Professor Raymond Lewis, to give us, uh, to give us uh, a curriculum day uh, for the whole staff and obviously presented again his ideas to the staff. Uh, there was further meetings within our units uh, after Professor Raymond Lewis's presentation. There was a chance to discuss uh, Raymond's ideas alongside our own approaches, uh, what we could include <coughs> in our classroom management plan. Staff adapted the previous uh, agreed approaches but also incorporating the new ideas Raymond gave to us. And obviously the final product was our document, the Thomastown document, and not a complete uh, adoption of Raymond's approach. Okay, at the start of this year, roughly about, it was in April, um, Professor Raymond Lewis um, came to our school. Uh, the setup was he met with a selected group which, were, which consisted of our unit, co um, unit coordinators and there was two staff members uh, within each of the units. Uh, the first session was they got a chance to discuss anything they may uh, have had problems with with uh, Professor Raymond Lewis. Then um, the next three sessions, um, Professor Raymond Lewis observed the classes, got a chance to look at um, uh, the way things were operating. <coughs> Sorry. Um, then he met with our learning leaders. He report, reported back to us session four. And then again, um, there was a full staff meeting at the end of, <coughs> at the, end of the day. Uh, staff modified the agreed approach after discussing uh, Professor Raymond Lewis's observations and came up with an outcome which is obviously there was a strong emphasis on uh, response and rights and responsibility of all students. Um, there was discussion with class and individual students focusing on the students' right to learn which we obviously have posted with it, uh, all of our classrooms. Um, and those posters look something like this. Every student has the right to learn. And obviously, your behaviour affects the learning of others. Uh, I'd now like to pass over to Dave to talk about the agreed principles. Um, <clears throat> there was quite a long process that we went through, but. Uh, what we tried to do is sort of boil it down to uh, a one-page document that said to our staff, uh, this is what you think is good, this is what you think are the, are the best ways of managing student behaviour. And I just was sort of want to emphasise what, uh, what Nick said, was that uh, this was our, our process. We deliberately 
We deliberately asked our staff to think about this first before presenting uh, Ray. We thought what he had to say was valuable enough to actually um, bring him out to a curriculum day last year as well as his academic visit this year. But we wanted to start with the idea of this, you know, the, the, we have a school full of experts in classroom management. And when you actually sat down with them and gave them some time to say what's the best approach to kids, they come up with a lot of good ideas. And then we brought Ray in to, to present his views and went back and modified what we had. So we went through quite a long process and trialling and Ray coming back and visiting and so on. We came up with a, a fairly detailed, but we tried to put it, put it down to a one-page document that each staff member got, and that's sort of the focus now of our continuing discussion. We came up with a number of principles and a number of strategies that we agreed with, that we said these are the ones we're going to continue to work with. Um, and a lot of them will be very familiar with you. And number one, positive relationship with students, referent power, as, as Ray would say. It's, and staff knew that's essential, that if, if you're getting on well with your kids, if, you're, if your interactions are mostly positive, when you have to actually say to them, no, that's the wrong thing, I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to give you a consequence, that the kids are much more likely to accept that if they think that they've got a positive relationship with you to start with. We're, we're working very hard on making sure that the big emphasis is on rights and responsibilities, you know, the right to learn, the right to learn. We just keep on coming back to that. You know, we just, I find myself saying there's only one reason why they built this school, and that's to learn. That's why you're here. If you're stuffing around, you're stopping other people from learning, you're stopping yourself from learning. That's, that's, all, that's the key reason for the rules. Uh, a big emphasis on encouraging responsibility, that you, know, you need to take responsibility for your actions, you need to control yourself, or you need to... Um, not, if not, I think it's difficult to sort of encourage kids to be saying to the, the misbehaviours, no, stop that, but certainly to encourage them not to feed into it, not to laugh and encourage the others. And again, uh, we said that one of the principles was make, make expectations clear so the kids know what's expected of them. Um, and that all these rules, all these classroom learning plans, again, are back to being based on rights and responsibilities. We said it's very important to remain calm in the adult state as, as Ray would have it and uh, it's easily said, sometimes not easily done, sometimes you just want to get the kid and put your fingers around his neck and bang his head on the wall um, and some, sometimes a big spray uh, makes you feel good but, but generally speaking we're saying that uh, if you stay calm and you bring the kids into that calm state, if you, um, if you can keep it focused on their behaviour and the consequences, so you don't let them start you know, saying it's the teacher's fault or you're picking on me or everybody else was doing it or I hate this place anyway or it's boring. If you bring it back again and again to what they did and what impact it had on, on other people's learning and you remain calm and you move through that process of what you did and what the plan is for next time when you go back into the classroom, you do get a better result. And. Um, <clears throat> The second last one is, is easier said than done, but, the, but the, the most extreme kids are looking for retention or power or revenge in some sort, and if at all possible, you know, not to engage in that. If they're looking for attention, don't give them that. Easier said than done, I know, but uh, if you're aware of that, that that's, their, that's their motivation, that they're looking, they're looking to control a class or they're looking to, to get attention or they're looking just to hurt you, and you can avoid that and not give them what they want, you're going to get a better, a better result. And most important, be consistent. If you, if you come into the class and every day the rules are the same, every day you, you give kids a number of warnings, you treat all kids the same, uh, the kids are going to respond to you uh, a lot, lot better than if you, um, if you come in one day and have one process and the next day you just walk in and say, Johnny, out. So some strategies, we said. Um, okay, praise and encouragement, absolutely important, especially for the most difficult kids. Um, praise, praise good behaviour, praise effort. Uh, I think that was a difficult one for some people to get their heads around, that, that if a kid is, uh, is a known misbehaviour and often difficult and they're, uh, and they're misbehaving for 75% of the class but then they do something well, um, you've really got to pick up on that and say, you know, Braden, Eli, Nathan, that was, that was good, well done. We know these names, don't we? I know those names. Um, something that Ray hadn't talked about we found very useful is simply seating arrangements. Um, you know, be a little bit proactive. If there are kids in the class who don't work well together, who are disruptive, don't put them together. As I was saying to John the other day, don't, don't store your petrol and your matches right next to each other. 